for the truss shown, what is the force in the members CD, HI, and CJ? And state if they are in tension or compression. This is the third example for the trusses main lecture video. The link to that video and other examples are in the description below. Since we're only interested in finding some internal forces and not all, it makes sense to use the method of sections. Additionally, the members we're interested in finding their internal force can all be found by performing only one cut. If we use the left side of the structure, we would need to find the reaction forces at A and K first. If we take the right side of the cut, we have all the external loads and only three unknown variables, the variables we're looking for. As opposed to the method of joints, in the method of sections, we can write a sum of moments to solve for one or more of those variables. So we'll use the structure at the right. Since the lines of action of FHI and FHC pass through H, we'll begin with a sum of moments about H. The line of action of the 1500 pound force on the left also passes through H. So the sum of moments about H will only have three terms, the one from FDC and the two 1500 pound forces on the right. With this, we can solve for FDC, a compressive force. Even though we don't see it in this section of the structure, point C makes sense for the next sum of moments. The lines of action of forces HC and FDC will pass through C, allowing us to solve for FHI. Because of the positive value, HI is subjected to tension. Finally, a sum of forces in the Y direction would allow us to solve for FHC. The negative value shows us that member HC is in compression. Remember that this is only true when you assume that all internal forces are tensile forces, and you draw the vectors in free body diagrams correspondingly. For more truss examples, as well as the links to the static scores main lecture videos, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.